Hi parents and teachers, my name is Emma Monroe and today I'm teaching you how to make chromatography butterflies with your student using materials you could find around the house or in the classroom. You will need something to put in between your table and the project. I used a trash bag but you could use newspaper or something similar. You also need scissors, non-permanent markers, I used Crayola but any brand should work, some string, pipe cleaners in any color, one coffee filter, and a disposable cup filled halfway with water. Choose one marker and draw a thick line over the circle on the coffee filter where the ridged part meets the flat center. Next, you can either fold the coffee filter in half two times or you can fold it into a cone-like shape like I did. Next, put the coffee filter into the cup of water with only the uncolored tip touching the water. The water should slowly start coming up the coffee filter, taking the marker die up with it. Once the dye has reached the edges of the coffee filter, take it out and lay it flat on the garbage bag or newspaper to dry. While you wait for the coffee filter to dry, cut one pipe cleaner in half. Then, cut a strand of string about half an arm's length. Once the coffee filter is completely dry, pinch the opposite sides of the circle together to make a bow tie shape. Wrap the pipe cleaner around the middle of the bow tie and twist to make the butterfly's antennae and body. Then. Tie one end of the string to the butterfly's pipe cleaner body. You can now spread out its wings to your liking and make the butterfly fly by holding one end of the string. This was one of my science activities in my STEAM club for the Midland School as part of my Girl Scout Gold Award. In the coming weeks, I will be posting other videos with activities relating to each letter of STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Thanks for watching!